Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. On the last episode, we uh, talked with Angel Star, the supposed witness of the entire murder case, and found out that she has a dislike for prosecutors. But, you know, the chief prosecutor being the main suspect will probably eliminate any bias she might have. I don't know. But she also pointed us to the high prosecutor's office to see if we can investigate the scene. And we found out that it was Edgeworth. So we're going to be talking with him on this episode. Find out exactly what's been going on in his life since we cleared him of murder. So the case and Edgeworth. Edgeworth's probably going to be the one about his life. But the case is what we want to know about. So, the body was found in your car? Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Well, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean... Wait. So, you're the Chief Prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, sir! I'm a sky! It's... uh... It's nice to meet you again! Now, that didn't sound forced at all. <laughs> uh, now I remember. You've really grown. Kinda creepy. I'll admit, it was a surprise to me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still. Now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Wait, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be at the trial. I'll be I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, so we're facing Edgeworth tomorrow. Great. I mean, we've we have a two and zero record against him, so things are already looking a little bit up, except for the fact that the defendant has already admitted guilt. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thank- oh, this is Edgeworth. <laughs> Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy! Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's gotta be a story behind that one. So, let's talk to him about Lana Sky. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I've always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Um, mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person. But I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? 
to be specific, it was the knife kept in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. <laughs> so, so let's try. Let's not. Let's not point fingers at Edgeworth. I mean, yes, the murder weapon is his. Yes, the car is his. And <laughs> we'll add this to our court record. Um, Edgeworth. What? Are Are you sure you didn't do it? Come on, can't you take a joke? You have a very, you have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Okay, I guess everyone's a critic. All right, well, that's all we can talk to Edgeworth at the moment. But if we examine that trophy that he hastily threw onto his couch, we can get a little bit more information out of him. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Oh, mumbles, prosecutors. <laughs> I, I mumbled the word mumbled. Huh? What's that? It's it's the King of Prosecutors trophy. King, King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for King? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors. Can I can play the month, only better. <laughs> we'll get this added to our court record, because why not? But that'll actually help us, because if we present this item to Edgeworth now, we'll find out why he has it. Given Edgeworth, King of Prosecutors at the, at the PD on the day of the murder. So, in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? Even though you've lost two major trials, and you were a murder suspect in two other trials. You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh! Why is that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes. Right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, correct? Where Detective Gumshoe works. Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award, for better or worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. Which is good we presented it because now he has a new talking point, the day of the crime. Just so we can get his alibi completely cleared. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. <laughs> Especially because it kind of screwed you over for the past 15 years with that stupid nightmare you had, huh? The only thing I trust is solid evidence. And we'll get this added to our court record, because why not? This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. 
so the murder happened right after you got back. What, right? I'd appreciate it if you'd direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Oh! Uh, whose voice is this? Uh, who is this voice supposed to be? Oh! I think I know. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> um! Excuse me, but is this Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anywhere in the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Er, uh, Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard Edra's lid blow. <laughs> I like how it made the suspense music play, and then it kind of led to nothing. Mr. Edra's lid isn't done very tight, is it? How's she reading my mind? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but, sir! <laughs> I I'm just following orders, sir! They told me to bring this to you! I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement with us, sir. Give me your name. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right, Officer Meekins. Take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. Whimper. But, sir, I didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave up brains and good luck. <laughs> Bye, Meekins. Right. Uh, yes, sir! Ah, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. <laughs> uh, let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. <laughs> so, Edgeworth isn't feeling very well right now, so let's leave him be. We'll head over to the police department on the next episode. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. And cannibals are so easy. And look, we're already back to full, full ammo. Oh god, more cannibals. Nope, stay in cover. Stay in cover. Watch it, we've got one of the big ones. One of the big- Oh! Oh! <laughs> brute, 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 brute. Take out the brute. Right away! Okay, I think I wasted my concussive shot, but it still it died anyway. I think that's it for now.